Hey there and welcome to Brain Stuff. I'm Josh Clark and uh, this is the Brain Stuff where I explain to you why you can't remember anything when you smoke pot. So marijuana is the most used illicit drug in the United States and possibly even the world. And stoners have kind of this reputation of being forgetful or absent-minded, saying things like, what were we just talking about? Things like that, right? But there's actually some truth, some reason, some kernel of fact behind this stereotype. And it has to do with the active ingredient found in pot, tetrahydrocannabinol 9, or THC, to make it easy on me. So no matter how you ingest pot, whether you eat it, smoke it, snort it, shoot it, drop it, whatever, however it enters your bloodstream, it enters the brain by latching onto something called the cannabinoid receptor 1 protein or again, CB1 for short, to make it easy on me. And CB1 receptors are located throughout your brain, all over the place, in the cortex, the amygdala, and most importantly, as far as this Brain Stuff episode is concerned, in the hippocampus, where memories are formed. So, when CB1 proteins go to enter their receptors in the hippocampus to, say, form memories as part of your natural endocannabinoid system, if it has a little THC stuck to it, it's not going to form memories properly. In fact, you might not form memories at all while you're stoned, which is why even after you are not stoned any longer, you can't really remember what you were doing or talking about or thinking about when you're stoned unless you wrote it down. And even then it might not make sense to you when you go back and read it. All because your CB1 proteins have some THC attached to them and it's messing up your memory formation. However, despite what your friend Alex says, pot does not affect existing memories. So, it's not going to lead to memory loss or dementia, and you'll be able to recall things you already know, like your name. Simple enough, right? Well, it turns out there's actually long-term memory effects depending on when you smoke pot. A 2015 study in the journal Hippocampus, which is a little on the nose as far as journal titles go if you ask me, found that teenagers who smoke pot regularly for three years actually can have long-term memory troubles as well. And the researchers linked it to abnormally shaped hippocampuses. The teenagers in the study's hippocampus looked like this, when really a healthy hippocampus is supposed to look like this. However, it must be said that studies of teenagers smoking pot and their long-term memory problems or any kind of memory problems has to be taken with a grain of salt because very frequently the study populations do other drugs too like sniffing glue and stuff like that the good news is, is that if you didn't start smoking pot as a teenager and just took it up as an adult your brain's already going to be developed and pot's not going to go in and disrupt your hippocampus development because it's already there you're just going to experience the weird short-term memory loss, that kind of thing. So, it seems that really the big issue as far as pot and memory goes is when you smoke it while you're an adolescent. Because you end up with a horrid, misshapen hippocampus that can't remember anything at all. And was it worth it? If you like this video, that's awesome. Can you remember anything I just said? If so, leave it word for word in the comments below. And while you're down there, go ahead and subscribe to Brain Stuff because there's plenty more stuff like this. And if you like all sorts of awesome things, just a wide variety of smorgasbord of neat stuff, go on over to HowStuffWorks.com.